me You know that you can tell everyone If you want me the way I want you Got my number, you know what to do Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know who I am, I am T with Jackie P, or you can just call me Jackie, Jackie P, P, T, whatever you want to call me, but welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you guys are here. I decided to make another video, and this is going to be my first video for the summer season. So I decided to make two different towels that you can bring to the pool, you can decorate your bathroom with, you can take cute Instagram photos with. So I made a cute little half watermelon towel. You can also double the towel as a bath rug because it is a little bit on the smaller side, but it's more of a sitting towel. So it looks super cute on the edge of a pool. If you're sitting and trying to take an Instagram photo, it just looks like you're sitting on a piece of watermelon. I also made a circle towel that are super popular right now, but they are so expensive and I literally cannot buy a circle towel. I can't spend $40 on a towel. So if you guys would like to see how I made the watermelon towel and the circle towel, just keep watching and you will get right to the video. So first we're gonna start with this super cute watermelon towel. You can also use this as a bath mat, but this is just a sitting towel and I love it. So first you're just gonna start out with a pink towel and you just wanna trace a half moon shape on there and just cut it out. It doesn't have to be perfect, uh, but just get it as close as you can get to a really equal half moon shape. Then you're just gonna cut out your shape and be very careful with this because the fabric can fold and kind of wrinkle and mess up your shape. So you just wanna go as slow as possible and be very precise when cutting. Once you're done cutting out your pink towel, then you just wanna lay that on top of your green towel to make sure that your second half moon shape is going to be the same kind of shape. You just want to trace the green part on the towel a little bit thicker. This is going to be the rind of our watermelon. So you just want it to show behind the pink to mimic the look of a watermelon and you will be done like that. Since I don't have a sewing machine, I'm going to use this fabric adhesive. This is kind of like liquid stitch and just make sure I stitch all of the towel together where it is opening so it's not flapping around when you're sitting on it or picking it up or washing it. Then I'm gonna go in with this paint pen and just draw on my watermelon seeds. So along with this paint pen and the adhesive, you just wanna make sure that you let this towel dry for at least 72 hours before you wash it just to ensure that everything stays on the towel. And we are done and we have a super cute watermelon towel that you can bring to the pool and take cute Instagram photos with. Next, we're gonna make our circle towel. This one is a little bit harder to make, but has the same steps. So we want two white towels, some tie dye, the fabric adhesive, and some trim if you would like. You don't have to use the trim. Mine didn't end up working out, so you definitely don't need it. You just take your one white towel and you draw the same half moon shape that you did on your watermelon towel. So like I said, this doesn't have to be perfect. Then you just cut the half moon shape out and you stick that piece on top of your second towel just to trace it so it's the exact replica of your half moon shape. Then when you are done, you just unfold it and make sure the seams are together and glue with your fabric adhesive. Make sure you press down firmly to ensure a very tight seal and this will ensure you have your circle towel. So next we're gonna tie dye the towel. You wanna make sure you follow the directions that are on your tie dye package, whatever brand you get. I just got these from Walmart. You wanna tie up your towel in whatever pattern you like. I did a bullseye. Make sure you saturate the towel and after six to eight hours, you want to wash the towel and make sure it runs clear. And then you want to follow the directions and just wash and dry your towel separately from any of your laundry. Then I just cut the ends to make it all fringy and we are done with the towel. 
Thank you guys so much for watching this DIY. I really would love to see what your towels come out looking like. And if you guys have different ideas on any towels that you guys want to make, I would just love to see them. You guys can follow me on Instagram. It is T with JP. And I would love to see what you guys create. I think these towels are super fun and super easy to do, especially for the summer. If you have nothing to do for the summer, DIYs are like a summer thing because you have so much free time that you can create whatever you would like to create. I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you guys have an awesome summer. I am planning more videos for the summer season, so look out for those. And make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Oh no. Oh shoot. I love you more. Oh! See like my fat like smushed in here. You can see through my shirt. Ugh. And to make my own. Oh, I can't breathe. Do I have a towel in my hand?